Get your horses mounted up and let's ride out. On the double. Maybe we'll catch up with that rabble. we go? Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. Good. Then follow me, keep quiet, and do exactly as you're told. I don't know what Sir Radzik sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. The dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of him. Now, mount up and ride behind us. All right, men. Sell up! No godly. Last one there won't find me a happy man.
Where's your master? In, in the paddock. <sighs> Crucifix. What kind of beasts could do this? By the blood of the martyrs. What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses... screaming... Must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them. And then my husband. When my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? <laughs> Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow the trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? A pox on it. Mount up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck, someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far, and come back here when you're done. Lying there, explain to you like a pig. Go see him. Go fucking tell him that you came as soon as you could. Uh, what a fucking mess. Another useless soldier come to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. I'm not a soldier. I'm one of the survivors from Scalitz. Huh. I see, lad. Well then, what do you need to know? There's one man in particular, huge, dressed all in black, voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here, the bastard. What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. 
I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me, the others started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. God be with you. Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in Scarlet's a few times. I swear I won't let them destroy it, Smeal. Ask. I... I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Go on. My husband went out to see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you recognise any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarrelled? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. I don't know of anyone else. Good luck, then. How could anyone be so cruel? Poor wretch. He must have crawled here. <laughs> <laughs> 
If it was the horses they were after, there'll be even more of them by the main stables. Are you... are you well? Leave me alone. Go away. Look, I know that it's difficult. But when I say talk, I don't expect to be ignored. No more, no more. Leave me alone, all of you. Good luck to you. How could anyone be so cruel? Oh, innocent creatures. How could anyone be so cruel? What? Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask. I don't know anything. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No! I didn't see a thing. Ah, this wasn't done by animals. They must have gone into the woods this way.
They went deeper and deeper, for sure. Fellows here, fucking greenhorn. Mother of God. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm going to enjoy this. Is that the best you can do? Are you going to cry? Oh, God. Come here, Billy Lip. Dear God. Fucking dying here. <laughs> Nobody can match me with iron in their hands, and uh, some damn peasant kills me. <laughs> Dagger covered in horse shit. <laughs> Someone in Neuhof must know more about it. He was here just now. Damn it. They did here. Kill them. Find those whore sons and kill them. <laughs> right. Do you know whose hoof pick this is? Ginger's. He was always bragging about it. Why do you ask? 
I found it on one of the bandits in the woods. But he... Because of him? Because of him they murdered us? Lord in heaven! Wait, hold on. You think Ginger was responsible for the attack? He ran off! Don't you see? He was acting so strange and then he ran off! Why the hell would he do that? That does sound rather odd. And you don't know where Ginger could have gone? Dunno. Ask Jakob. Take care now. <laughs> oh, no! Any idea where I might find this, Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I, I know how he looks. But Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Do you know anything about this hoof pick? Yeah, it's Ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Where could he have fled to? Uh, I might know, but you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujins. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> you'll smell them before you see them. Well, and they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them. Exactly.
ale trochę później, ale, ale pójdę na to znaczy. God be with you. I'm looking for a stable boy from Neuhof. Then why aren't you looking for him at the stud farm? Because he fled from there and supposedly went to see some charcoal burners. He didn't come here. You'll have to try elsewhere. Take care now. If there's something you want, better ask me first. Good health to you. Could you help me? Depends what you want, doesn't it? I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. They say he ran away and joined up with some charcoal burners he used to hang around with sometimes. Sorry, there's never been a lad called Ginger around here. You have to try somewhere else. A murder has been committed at Neuhof, and that boy likely knows who did it. It's vital I find him. There's been murder aplenty in these parts of late, but that ginger lad really hasn't been here. There'll be a lot less murdering going on once I bring those bastards to justice, so how about helping me out? Calm down, lad, for the love of God. There's been no one like the boy you want round here, but then again, there are other charcoal burners. Try them. You might want to hurry. You're not the first to be asking about him. And the others weren't exactly a noble-looking bunch, although they were generous with their silver. They didn't happen to say what they wanted him for? No, but they definitely didn't look like they wanted to invite him to a feast. Do you have any idea where else he could have gone? You said he was friends with the charcoal burners? Well, you'll definitely find some in the forest between Neuhof and Ujets. There's good spots around there. But that forest is huge. I could spend weeks searching. Then follow the river. That's how you found us, isn't it? Where there's charcoal burners, there's always water nearby. All right. I'll go and ask somewhere else. God be with you.
Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for Ginger from Neuhof. Do you know anything about him? I know him. What do you want of him? There's a few questions I need to ask him. Well, you'll have to go somewhere else to find him. He doesn't come here much. I really must speak with him. A murder was committed at the stud farm, and that boy probably knows who did it. I have to get him for talk. And you think he had a hand in it? Hard to say. He ran away, but on the other hand, it seems he stabbed one of the attackers. Well, when you put it like that, it's clearly urgent business. I do know him. Uh, not personally, but I've seen him around. He's friends with the charcoal burners down by Townburg. I know he hangs around with the twins there. Downstream by Townburg? Somewhere by the castle. If you follow the river to the west, you're bound to run into them. Oh, one more thing. Yes? Some other men have been around asking about him, but they weren't as uh, convincing as you. Take care now. Good health to you, sir. I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. Then why don't you look for him at the stud farm? He was there, but now they say he's hiding amongst some charcoal burners. And where did you hear that? Anyhow, there's no one of that description here. Try asking somewhere else. And where will I find him, then? When you travel upstream, you're sure to run into more charcoal burners. But charcoal burners can be found everywhere there's trees and water, so... Look, a terrible crime's been committed at Neuhof, and Sir Radzig wants the culprits found. And here you are making it harder for me. You don't look like someone from the garrison to me. Go and try that on someone else. But I really am. Of course you are, and I'm the Queen of Sheba. Clear off and stop wasting my time. Well then, I'll go and ask elsewhere. Good luck. May the Lord watch over you.
someone there. Could do with a bite to eat. Damn it, I'm hungry. Well, well. Look who deigns to grace us with his presence. I was looking for that boy and... 
And you didn't bother telling anyone. I had to follow the trail before it went cold. And what if some bandit skewered you and left you for dead? We'd never find you because you told no one where you were going. How would I explain that to Sir Radzig, eh? I really don't know, my lord. He disappeared without saying a word to anyone. It never crossed my mind he wanted to get himself killed. I... I... Silence! Keep your ignorant mouth shut when I'm giving you the benefit of a veteran's wisdom. You do what I tell you, answer only when I ask, and not go roaming off whenever you feel like it. I'd like to kick your arse back to the castle and be shut of you. But it's true, you're a fucking peasant who knows nothing about soldiering. And it's my job to whip you into shape, so I'm not done with you yet. God have mercy on you if you ever try anything like that again. If you're lucky, I'll only have you whipped and clapped in the stocks. Because if I get my way, you'll be hanged for desertion. I hope we've got that out of the way. I've made myself absolutely clear. And now, let's hear what you have to report. I found the charcoal burners who know about Jinjo, but they wouldn't tell me anything. They don't believe I'm with the garrison. What did you expect? Well, we'll see what they think when we turn up. Let's go, boys! I have a report you're harboring a fugitive here and obstructing a member of the garrison in the course of his duty. Do you want to swing, you scoundrel? But, Captain, that man of yours looked a bit... Well, we have to be careful who we trust, what with those bandits coming around making threats. Well, if you're that careful, I'm sure you can tell me which way those bandits went. I don't want to have to scour the whole woods for them. They came from the east and went back the same way. There's only one place they could be hiding out there. There's a track going up the hill that leads to an old abandoned camp. All right, we'll take care of them. And another thing. Where are you hiding that boy? We need to talk to him. He's in a ruined hut not far from here. On the right-hand side of the road to Ujits, there's an overgrown path that leads there. That wasn't hard, was it? Now let's get to work. See, lad? That's how it's done. Come with us if you want, but we can manage without you, too. You can go and talk to that ginger lad if you like. He's supposed to be hiding in some hut nearby. There's an overgrown path on the right of the Ujits Road leading there. So are you coming with us or what? I'd rather go to that boy. He's more important right now. Fine. Fine, then. See you back at the stud farm. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? B because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, 
Those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits, and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ujits, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. And, well, it was terrible, like hell itself. And then... It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. And I, I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? then? Then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them. And two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yelled. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? I suppose I could. Do you know where I can find them? I don't, but they must be lurking about somewhere. Well, I'll have a look. But if I find them, then... I understand.
¡Ay, te escucho! ¡Vos, pesco, ¡Oh, pichado!
have to eat something. My insides are shriveled up with the hunger. I bear good tidings. Already? They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it all. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. I could go and ask them if it's important to you. Would you? You'll definitely have their respect, the way you took care of those cutthroats. I found Ginger. He begged me to ask if he can return. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to bury my husband. What? Why else would he flee but guilt? The men said they didn't see him in bed. He didn't have a clean conscience because he gave those murderers a signal. That's not true. He fled because one of the attackers recognized him and Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare come back. But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. Why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. Why not a few more? And now I'm supposed to take him back? 
What if they come back for him and kill one of my daughters in the process? The cutthroats who were after him have been taken care of. And the rest have no reason to return here. And what about for revenge? I can't take him back. I understand your concerns, but you just need to ask Sir Hamish to leave you a guard. Those bandits might be willing to take on a few stable boys, but not an armed soldier. I'd definitely feel better if someone was here a few days to keep watch. It can be arranged. I'm sure Sir Bernard won't object. Good then. Let the lad come back again. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Christ be praised. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it then. Ginger fled because he recognised one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognise? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. <sighs> All right. Since you've gone this far... You may as well ask around in Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. Farewell. My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. One of the Neuhoff stable boys, a, a lad they called Ginjo, fled from there and hid out with some charcoal burners. I have to say, there's a lot of them around. I never thought how many forges and ironworks they have to supply. That's true, but keep to the point. Oh, yes, sir. I had quite a job finding him. He was well hidden and with good reason. The bandits wanted to kill him because he recognised one of them. Did he tell you what happened? He said it wasn't one gang, but two. And one of them took fright when the slaughter started. Seems they were only interested in loot, so they quarrelled with the other lot. Then it came to a skirmish in the woods and one of them was killed. And the rest of them scattered. And did you find out where they went? All I know is one of them is from Ujits. I know enough about him to be able to track him down. All right, but those cutthroats must know who he is too, right? And if they want to get revenge on him or silence him, you'd better hope they don't get to him before you. So drop everything and get on his trail. Find out what he knows and then report back to me. I'm going to our encampment of Merhaya to oversee the security of the region. Yes, sir.
Wait a moment.
good health to you. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? It must be that farmhand Lubosch. I don't know what the hell you'd want him for, and I don't much care. He's got a cottage on the edge of the village near the stream. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. Here are your groschen. Then we may as well start. He did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. So, let's see you read a bit. There's a book here on the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? Um, maybe I'd better read it again. No need to rush. It's always hard at first. read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? There was something about some fellow and a goose. Ah, well the main thing is you've managed to read the book. The rest is just practice. Only through a careful reading will you uncover the real meaning of the text. No book is written on a mere whim and without purpose. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage.
Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. That's what you call nothing to see. I'd like to know what something to see looks like. I have keys to save, Peter. This is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say you had a limp? Shit. Allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. Who was Limpy Lubosch? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. So you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. Did he have any kith or kin in the village? None. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Another thing about Lubosch. this? Looks like someone's hit him very hard on the head. Could they have bludgeoned him to death and then gutted him? That would explain why he didn't scream. Judas. Hmm. Looks like this is meant to be a warning. But for who? And why? Maybe the gang had a falling out. But a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. Lord above, they did a hell of a job on him. Must have been agony. How come no one heard anything? <laughs> 